H minus one minute. The airplane is up over our shoulders. It is a bright silver spot in the sky. Turn it on, I'm gonna look away and then I'll find it again. 30 seconds. I got him. John sees it. 25 seconds. Look away and then look back and you'll see it easy. 20 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. There it goes. The rocket is gone. We felt a heat pulse, a very bright light, a fireball. It is red. The sky looks black about it. It is boiling above us there. It is rapidly losing its color. There is the ground wave. It is over, folks. It happened. The mounds are vibrating. It is tremendous. Directly above our heads. It worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> Good, good. And there is a huge fireball. The rounds are still echoing through here. Wasn't that a perfect, perfect shot? My only regrets right now are, this Colonel Bruce, that everybody couldn't have been out here at Ground Zero with us. Okay, Bodie. We can still see it's a very odd cloud. Uh, it is white in the center, and there's a bright orange ring towards the outside of it. Then below it, there's like a hazy cloud. Uh, I don't know, Colonel Bruce, I've never quite seen a cloud like this from atomic detonation. Have you? No, I haven't, Bodie. There seems to be quite a uh, halo connected with it, and uh, there's quite a bit of mist up there. I'm not, uh, this is new to me. Maybe from seeing it from ground zero, we're missing a mushroom, but there doesn't seem to be any evidence of a, a mushroom type of stem that we have associated with other detonations. Folks, it was just a wonderful thrill to see that interceptor come in, that rocket go at the zero count. This thing went off with a white flash. It was just beautiful.